be teaching you how to create a sort of funky rainbow text effect in GIMP. Now, first off, I wanted to get a couple of things straight. If my voice sounds funny, that's A, because I just got braces today, and B, because, um, well, I found my old microphone, and I'm hoping it'll pick up my voice better, but no guarantees. Um, so your finished product will look something like this. As you can see, it's very glowy. Gives it a nice outline, I think. And this sort of blue and purple spotlight type things are totally optional, but we'll get to those later. So first off, you want to open up GIMP. I already have mine open. And you want to create a new image by going File, New. I'll just use the default size, 640 by 400 pix pixels. And then you want to take your Fill Bucket tool. Make sure the foreground color is black and click inside your image to fill it all up with black. Now you want to take your text tool and pretty much type your text. I'll just use love to gimp. Like so. And then in the tool options for your text, make your color any bright color that you can see on the black. And then change your font to pretty much whatever you like. I use a nice Georgia Bold Italic because that works for me pretty well, I'd say. Um, let me just find it over here. There we go, Georgia Bold Italic. And it gives it very curvy, nice effect I like. Um, and size it up a bit. Like that should be fine. Now in your Layers dialog, which you can also open by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers. In your Layers dialog, you want to right click on your text layer and click alpha to selection. Now you can cl delete, click on this little garbage can icon to delete that layer. All you need is the outline. That's why the color didn't matter before. Now you want to click this page icon to create a new layer. Make sure that it's set on transparency over here and click OK. Doesn't matter the name. Now you want to take your gradient tool and on the tool options for that gradient you want to click on this and set the gradient to full saturation spectrum either one of these, it doesn't really matter. And then click and hold. And then while you're holding, press, I think it's control, yeah. Press control to get a straight line. Then let go. And you'll get some very nice rainbow text. Now you want to go back to your layers dialog and create another new layer. Make sure it's transparent, click OK. And make sure that this selection is still selected. It should be, but if it isn't, then you have to go back. Take your fill bucket, set the foreground color to white, yep, and then click inside your selection. Now, create a new layer. Once again, transparency, except this time set the foreground color to black, and then click in your image. So there. Now when you click select, none, you should see you get this kind of rainbow outline, and we're almost there. Now click on the rainbow colored layer which is should be the second from the bottom and click filters blur Gaussian blur and blur by about 10 10 horizontal 10 vertical pixels click OK and you get kind of a glowy outline then click on the white text layer and do the same thing filters blur Gaussian blur except this time blur only by about 5 click OK so now we're almost there. Now you take your black layer, your black text layer, and set the layer mode on overlay. And what this does is it gives you this white text with a kind of blurry black outline that I really like. Now optionally you can take your uh, your rainbow text layer and click this double image to duplicate it just to give it a brighter rainbow outline. I really like this text effect which I got from a text tutorial on a website which I'll have the link in my description and click um, this is optional you can take your blend tool click image flatten image and then on the tool options set the gradient to foreground to transparent should be at the very top there you go set your foreground color to a nice radiant color I'll use maybe a pink because I like pink if you haven't noticed if you've watched any of my other videos I like pink a lot and then create a gradient something like that and then change your color to another bright one use a green, I like that too like that and it gives this kind of a, like a spotlight effect I really like this effect um, 
I highly recommend that tutorial. And that's about it. Subscribe if you like this video, and thanks for watching.